Joining me now from London is Marcos Papadopoulos. He's a historian, analyst, and author specializing in Russia and the former Soviet Union. Marcos, uh, give me your take on this attack. What stands out to you? Well, before we pass judgment as to who is responsible for what is one of the most appalling of terrorist activities that the 21st century has seen thus far, it is only prudent that we wait for the Russian government to investigate the matter and to reveal its findings. That said, however, I have profound reservations regarding the claim that ISIS was responsible because what we saw unfold in Moscow does not conform to the modus operandi of ISIS. So, firstly, ISIS terrorists are not paid money to carry out terrorist attacks. Yet, the perpetrators of the terrorist attack in Moscow, who have been apprehended by the Russian security forces, have said that they were paid money. And secondly, ISIS terrorists go to a location to carry out a terrorist attack, and they go there with the intention of dying, either in battle with security forces or by committing suicide. Why? Because they are extremists, they are fanatics, they are mentally ill, and they believe that by dying, they will achieve martyrdom. Yet, the perpetrators of the terrorist attack in Moscow attempted to flee the scene and attempted to make their way to Ukraine. So that is why what we saw in Moscow does not conform to the modus operandi of ISIS. Furthermore, only a few days ago, Victoria Newland, the Under Secretary of State at the US State Department, threatened Russia with asymmetrical warfare and said that Vladimir Putin would be in for some surprises very soon. Well, what did Victoria Newland mean by that exactly? So, whilst it is still early days, again, I have very serious reservations regarding whether ISIS is responsible. And on top of that, anyone can set up a social media account purporting to be, in this case, ISIS, and then claim that they are responsible for the attack in Moscow. Then we have the role of Western mainstream media. Within an hour or two of the terrorist attack in Moscow, Western mainstream media said that ISIS was responsible before this ISIS account, an alleged ISIS account, even said that they were responsible. So how did Western, me Western mainstream media know that ISIS was responsible? In addition to that, so far, Western mainstream media has not provided any evidence of any kind whatsoever to substantiate their claim that ISIS was responsible. Uh, Marcus, uh, to your point, uh, ISIS did claim responsibility for a deadly suicide bombing in Kabul that happened uh, at the Russian embassy in 2022. And as you mentioned, it was a deadly uh, suicide attack. Uh, two Russian staffers were killed in that attack. Um, so uh, to your point about that, it is still early. Uh, we do, the, do know that the four gunmen are in custody. Um, but given their ability to get in and out, uh, can you talk to us about the sophistication of this attack? Is it possible that ISIS was responsible for the terrorist attack in Moscow? Yes. Why? Because Russia played the leading role, the principal role, in the virtual destruction of ISIS in Syria. Therefore, there are people in ISIS who wish to exact revenge on the Russians. But then we have to ask, is ISIS truly capable today, in 2024, of making its way to Moscow, the heart of Russia, of facilitating a terrible, terrible terrorist attack in the heart of Russia? If this was 2014, when ISIS, or 2015, when ISIS was at the peak of its strength, then I would argue in the affirmative, yes, it is possible. But ISIS has virtually been destroyed. So the question I pose, how probable, how realistic is it that ISIS today, in 2024, has the capacity to carry out an attack 
in the Russian capital, in the heart of Russia. Also, we need to bear in mind, who is ISIS? Isn't it telling that the American government and Congress never launched an investigation into who trained ISIS, who armed ISIS, who financed ISIS, and who provided logistical assistance to ISIS? I find that very, very telling, and I find that very suspicious. But again, we must wait for the Russian government to investigate the terrorist attack in Moscow and to then reveal its findings to the world. But again, if you know the modus, modus operandi of ISIS, you will say exactly what I have just said, that it does not conform to what we saw in Moscow. ISIS terrorists do not get paid to carry out attacks. They do it because they are fanatics. And secondly, ISIS terrorists do not attempt to flee the scene. They choose to die there and then. Marcus Papadopoulos uh, joining us from London. Thank you so much.